Hi everyone, this is Ella and today we are going to be doing practice problem 13.4 under the topic of isometric drawing. So over here on the orthogonal projections they have given you two views which is the front view and the side view. So you can start dimensioning the boxes before we transfer this information onto the isometric grid. You are required to cut the corner at section AA. So in order for us to view the face with the square recess and this section surface, we will look from this view. So first of all, we are going to construct the cuboid that is going to envelop our block. So we have a 10 by 10 front face and a width of 10 boxes. So let's pick a point from which to start drawing. I'll, I'll choose this point and name it C. Let's set the axis on the isometric grid. The isometric grid would still have the same y-axis. A slanted x-axis and z-axis. So we can start drawing the enveloping box. A correction for the front view. The axis is y and x, while the side view has the axis y to z. So from point C, we have a width of 10 boxes and the height is also 10 boxes. And next we can draw the square recess which is an 8 by 8 box with a depth of 1. So we know that this square box has a depth of 1. So we can illustrate that. The depth of 1 box in. And then we can move on to draw the next indentation, which is a circular hole with a depth of one box and a diameter of six boxes. So in order to draw the circle, we construct a six by six box. So from the center of the circle, which is five boxes up from the right and five boxes in. So in order to find the center of the circle for the six box diameter circle, we need to go in one box of depth and then count five boxes up and then go five boxes in. So once you've found the center of the circle, you can draw the six by six box. And from there, you can draw the inner circle. As we know that there will be four points on the square that will be tangent to the circle. Now we can erase the construction lines. So for this six box diameter circle, it is one box in depth, so we need to draw that out. So from certain points on the circle, you just draw one box in, and after that you can draw the curve to illustrate the depth. Next we are going to draw the inner circle, which is a diameter of four boxes and this circle goes all the way through the block. And we know that from the front face it is a depth of two boxes in. So first we have to find the center of this inner circle and we need to go in two boxes from C. From this depth of two boxes in, we go up five boxes and five boxes in. So now we can erase the construction lines and from that center we draw a four by four box and then we can draw the 4 diameter circle. So we can't see the entire inner circle because we are viewing it from this perspective. So now we are done with the front side and we move on to the side view. So on the side view we have one circle and we know that it goes all the way to the other side. So this circle is a 4 box diameter circle and from the back it is four boxes in. The center is five boxes up. So from the back it will be four boxes in and five boxes up. So this is the center of our circle. From the center of the circle we know to construct a four by four box. So from here we draw the tangent and then we can draw the circle. And as usual for an isometric drawing this circle is actually in the shape of, of an ellipse with the major axis going through here and the minor axis going through here. Next we will be doing the sectioning. So we are going to be sectioning the AA part. So what we're going to do is to draw out the block that we are going to carve out. 
So the red box is the part that is going to be sectioned out. Okay, so from this part we're going to start drawing the inner structure. So we look at the side face, and we know that the square recess goes in by one depth. And next is the first circle, which also goes in by one depth. And finally, we go in by one more box down, and we get the middle cylindrical hole, which goes all the way to the back for eight boxes. And we do the same for the side view. And then we know that the hole on the side goes in by a depth of three. And next we go back to the front view. And we are going to fix this area because when you section it, you're going to be able to see the depth of the inner holes. So we know that the second inner circle goes in by a depth of two. While the outer circle has a depth of two boxes in. Now what's left is to draw the inner curves where the two cylindrical holes intersect. So you know that it's going to start at the edge where the inner circle starts. So we notice that the shape ends up as an ellipse. So in order to draw the arc length at the back, which would look something like that, to determine the position, we find the center of the circle that appears on the back face. So the center of the circle will be five boxes in and five boxes up. And from here we know that the hole that appears at the back will have a diameter of four, so you can construct a 4x4 four four box, and from there we choose the bottom arc, because that's the one that we're going to be able to see after the sectioning. So we draw the arc length and get rid of the construction lines. So there will be one more curve that will be visible, and it will show up as a straight line adjoining to this corner, since we are viewing it straight on. And the last thing to do would be to add the section lining on the cut surfaces. And there you have the final drawing for practice problem 13.4.